Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Brag from Bragio. Hello. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. <laughs> How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, let's begin with Brag. It was quiet-ish. We're going to do a little bit of talk. Yeah, yeah, of course. Later or now? Well, now. So the major Yu-Gi-Oh thing we did this week, well, I did this week, was the LOB draft. Uh, two boxes, eight players, um, drafted some of the most rubbish cards the game has ever <laughs> seen. Uh, I thought, and I thought it was sitting pretty, but I just forgot that there's so many power cards that are like at a super level that if the person who's opening the pack then takes, you know, Regeki, it gets a bit, um, it gets a bit weird. But yeah, like, I was sticking around the 12, like, to go, oh, 1200 attack. That's pretty big. <laughs> Not big enough. No. No. Um, there's, yeah, there's a, few, there's a few 1400s, like the 1550 Skull Redbird, which, what is it doing in that set? Yeah. I completely forgot how good that card is. Were we playing it in, um, in our starter deck LOB? No, because you have, um, Legend. Yeah. Because Legend's I... in the card of starter deck. Yeah, but... You need a bit more, I feel. Uh, more yeah, monsters. Neo, the magical Neo. Yep. 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 Yeah, so 17 is already up there. Oh my god. Yeah. Just however they scale the... in LOB. Yeah. Kind of fuck you. Yeah. It was, it was a disaster. My strongest monster was 1400 attack. Yes. yes. I was relying on equip spells. Didn't see the sequencing. Couldn't pull off the combo of three equip spells on one monster. <laughs> D spell's not in the set. No, it's just remove trap. Remove trap is yes. There's um ninja. No, yeah, oh yeah, ninja to look there. at the back row. Uh, to look at your back row. But yeah, that's it. Yeah, it was uh it was a rough time. I, I, I picked up one win against Jesse, who seemed to have drafted worse than I did. But everyone else had gotten a, a pretty powerful card that you could just sit onto and just bang. Yeah. Uh, Master Jewel's been pretty quiet, just plugging away. Bonfire's kind of made that deck a bit too too easy in the in this. So I was like, ah, uh, yeah, not not easy. It's just yeah, it's just more of the same, more of the same. Instead of those yeah. variant um, extra cards or hand trap that might cut, catch you out. Now it's just all in, which that reminds me, we'll talk about OC, we talked about OCG banlist last week, didn't we? Yes, we did. Have you seen what they've replaced? Sorry to get. I haven't attention. looked at it yet. No. Have a look at the metagame report. So they lost two Wanteds and one Ash? Yes. Three of Ak Valor in. Nah, yeah, sure. <laughs> I feel like that's just what's missing engine. Add a hand trap. Done. Oh. Yeah, so you just you know, instead of drawing a card that says go, you draw a card that says stop. Easy. So when that inevitably happens in Master Jewel in uh three months. Start crafting more Valors. You probably should already be running Valor. Yeah. I'm already on a lot of hand traps. Who do you want to go next? You? Ben? I'll go Ben. Okay. okay. Uh, this Locals, I went on Tuesday. I went X1. Um, I was sitting here for a while being like, what happened to Locals? Uh, but I played Dragon Ruler uh, Snake Eyes. Mm. It was fun. Oh, cool. I really enjoyed it. The actual, like, Dragon Ruler part of the deck was cool. When I was playing Blaster. Yeah. Um, like, Tempest was good enough, except for the final hand in game three, when I drew double Tempest, double Wind Hand Trap, so it was Mourner, hmm. and then, like, Flame Burst. And I was like, hmm. this is an issue. And I was like, I'll make a Baron pass. Baron immediately gets impermed. I'm like, fuck. I don't <laughs> die, but I'm like, Gonna take a lot to get out of. Draw Jet Synchron. <laughs> Woo! Okay. The game. <laughs> um, so that was that. Uh, and then for the LOB draft tournament, I uh, came last. My drafting was worse than Bragg's. So much worse than Bragg's. I had... So pretty early on, uh, Kurt passes on polymerization. He's next to me. Oh yeah. And at this point, I already have three fusions. So I look at, I see the poly, and I'm like, I'm gonna go all in on the poly targets. Mm. Proceeded to only get one of the poly targets for every card of my extra deck. So I just had draft. I drafted all of these weak as piss monsters to then do the fusion strategy with. No. 
Uh, At least they're polys for the future. I have polys for the future. Even yeah, because I'm assuming you keep these cards and build yes. on them as the set's going. Yeah. There's a chance that I can maybe make it as nice restrict. <laughs> if everything goes right. Oh, it's going to be rough, though. Because I have to hard with Thousand Eyes Idol. Oh, yeah, Ultra. And then Ultra. <sighs> I just got High Roll. High Roll my way through. Um, I did get the Dark Hole, which is going to do me well in future. I got also got... Everyone was passing in my port on the three-pronged attacks. Hmm. So I was like, these are going to be useful eventually. So I'm just going to take these. Uh, and I got a Hain Hain. So I have four oh, cards. Oh, Hain huge. Yeah, I got four cards that are good for the future. <laughs> The rest of my deck is completely unplayable. It will all be getting replaced by stuff from Metal Raiders when we get to that. Logan having Rikiki and Man-Eater Bug is a problem. Tom's deck is insane. I don't know how he lost to Logan. Well, he lost to Logan. And Logan came second. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. His deck's pretty busted. He got Man-Eater Bug, Hain Hain, and Dark Hole, I think. That's a lot of removal. And Trap Hole. Ah, uh, that's a lot of removal. It was like... Well, uh, you can out four problems. So lucky I'm playing Remove Trap. <laughs> yes, noted Remove Trap. Definitely Remove Back Row. At one point I had three pronged attack set against someone and I was like setting up and they tried to Remove Trap me and I was like, no, no, face up. Yeah. They're like, what is this even out? And I was like, Dragon Capture Job. Wait, so Remove Trap doesn't even pop t set traps? No, it, it literally pops just face up. looks at set traps? No, it only oh. pops face up. doesn't even look at that set traps. That is. Because D spell still so does. bad. D spell can do a face down. Yes. Remove Trap yeah. is face up only. That's In so this bad. format, it only outs uh, Dragon Capture Jar, hmm. which came up. Because I have Dragon Capture Jar, and uh, Lachlan had. Red Eyes. No. Oh, yes, he did have Red Eyes. Yes. Uh, so I flipped the Dragon which is Capture huge. Jar, and he's like. I waited for battle phase, I'm like, flip dragon capture jar, and he's like, okay, main phase two, remove trap, and I'm like, ah. The odds. Ah, ah, ah. Well, I knew he had it. Well, at least Adult Ben had the sensibilities of flipping it once he declared an attack, yes. instead of Child Ben would have been like, hey, hey, get in the So, uh, that was my LOB experience. Uh, we'll both have content coming on the way regarding it. Um, yeah, mine's going to be chopped and meme is uh, all hell because it cuts out certain points but there's also parts that are cut out that I wish were so that's good I'm gonna kind of oh yeah Jesse change. was in the room wasn't he yeah okay. oh yeah there's no audio on this yeah there's oh, no audio yeah. I'm gonna yep. it's all voiceover <laughs> it's gonna be me with like TikTok default voiceover going at one point there was how did he pull a red eyes <laughs> <laughs> there was definitely uh, copyrighted music at some points so it's all going to be voiceover. But they did know that you were trying to make content out of this, right? Like, yeah, but I said from the start I was going to do voiceover. Oh, okay, yeah. right. So it isn't a case of like you were trying to do contenty stuff and people ruined it, like the ever fateful uh, charity stream. What? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. Right at the end. Yeah, those motherfuckers. Um, yeah. Um, so my week. Um, so yeah, uh, Tuesday I also went wet X1, bricked really bad in my second round. Opened like effectively four of the same card and those cards did not do anything. So I was like, sick. And then today, um, first at least two uh, somewhat interesting decks. Like I didn't hate the fact that I lost to one of them. Um, so, versed Dark World Synchro, um, for my first match. Mm -hmm. It made use of, like, the Resonator package and, like, the Fire and Ascator and stuff like that to build some Synchros and stuff. Um, so that was cool. Lost to that because I bricked. Um, round two I lost to Flunder. Uh, that was not one of the interesting decks. Uh, fuck that deck. <laughs> Hate that deck. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't lose to it. Um, I would love to not lose to it. Can However, you just summon a Dingus in defense position and win. That's the plan. However, things did not go to said plan. You shifted. Oddly enough, no. Oh, I I was like mortified that that was what the matchup was going to be. That I was just going to get shifted and I was going to get fucking owned. But no, I just opened mm. bad and couldn't play through end pen. Yes. Turns out links can't go into defense mode, so it's hard to play around. No. 
Twin and also the, the Horus things I thought would be my out the second the King Sark hit the board. He's like, hmm, that needs to go. Remove it. No, no, no. Yeah. Um, but anyway, um, and then my last round was against uh, Ubel. Yep. It's cool to see that deck in action. Um, kind of didn't realise in my game too that um, it's effectively like a battle trap, the Spirit of Ubel. Yeah. And then while they have the nightmare, whatever it is, on the board, you have to attack. So I had a board full of five monsters. I had to attack the Spirit of Ubel and I took all the damage. Mm. So yeah. Force you into it. Yeah. Should have linked them all off. Well, I didn't realise it had the battle trap effect. Uh, like, yeah. I realised he searched it, but I just thought it had the on summon thing. Yep. Instead, Whereas no. the next game, I was very much aware of it, the third game. And he went to search it and I was like, it's okay, I have Crescendo set. You can try that all you like. <laughs> uh, and then Master Duel, um, yeah, I'm playing Unchained in there since that's got released. Uh, enjoying it, uh, but Snake Eyes does overpower that deck with its resource loop. Uh, so I think my last game that I played on there last night, uh, I had literally run out of monsters and mm. they still had plays. I'd, Yep. I just sort of started destroying like my traps and stuff to play around the board, just assuming that I still had stuff in deck. I popped a trap, I popped something on the his board, and then... Nothing prompted you? Nothing prompted me to summon from deck. I was like, no. oh. <laughs> That's not good. Um, so, yeah. Um, hopefully, a band list comes along at some point to address that. Because... I will talk about it now anyway. So, State of Master at the moment has made me realise that I don't want them to have the same format for physical play and Master Duel. I've decided I like it the way it is. Except for at this very moment where the formats are the same. Where we got everything early. Yes. yes. Like, at least when they, like, did the throwdown of every tier card, tier was dead. Or, like, had been changed in our format enough that it was different mm. whereas now like there's very minuscule differences between snake eyes tcg and snake eyes muscle it's just the one deck <coughs> that is winning has everything and everything else is like oh still waiting on that I'm still waiting on that mm. so it's yeah a weird choice yeah i'm not well, about it a weird money maker yeah. It's okay. They'll hit the deck when they give us the uh, emergency and preventer. The other thing that occurred we to like, me... His emergency and preventer wanted to win, by the way. Well, the other thing that occurred oh, to me yeah. is that in the OCG, emergency's at one. So they could yeah. just bring emergency in at one. <laughs> so so also they've delayed one, it so. for like ages. And then they're just like, here you go, guys. At one. The fast tracking of Poplar is really... I it would have been nice to have the wanted Diable Star um, Rescue Ace. Yeah. The, yeah, Poplar turning up way early. We'll never know. We'll Mix never it all know. together. Oh, God. I mean, we could just play it in five years, I imagine. How quick this game's going to oh, be. Actually, just How do you go up from here? It just occurred to me, too, that, like... Give, give us water stuff. Yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll get to that. I know. We'll, we'll get to that. I know. So, um, I would do segue, but I don't want to. Um... The other thing is a point to make. Mm. This better be a good point. Well, the other thing is too, like as much as it's like firemen aren't getting like to play at their full capacity because they're missing cards, and by the time they get their cards, they might be missing D bell engine and whatever, whatever. Yes. What about fire king? Mm -hmm. Fire king also gets dunked on in that regard because it's either you suffer through snake eyes long enough for them to get fire king into master duel, or you get fire king and then they just bend the fuck out of the other engine. But remember the part where we had Fire King without the Snake Eye stuff and it was still fairly good. Good enough for you to complain about it on this podcast when I was playing it. Just the Fire King stuff? Yes. It will come out with Consort too. What was I complaining about? Consort can carry that, yeah. Sure. Yeah, Consort adds enough to the deck that you can hit all the Snake Eye stuff and Fire Kings will still do pretty good in Master Jewel. Trust. I'm not going to do it. But trust. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep dragging up the snake eye stuff. I'm like when this, is, when this is like Ash banned, 
poplar one, oak one, I'm still gonna be trying. It's gonna be a dragon. Have you done Snake Eyes Scrapping Master yet? Oh, I was just as soon as I get part, as soon as we get Phoenix, I'm just gonna play Scrap and just go into the. I don't imagine they're gonna hit Zelantis or whatever. So I just need the Pyro Phoenix. Should play Scrap at locals. We need Zelantis for the other water support. You want me to do the thing, don't you? Yeah, what else are we going to cover first? The, there's heaps of stuff. But anyway. It's main set announcement. It's okay. It'll get talked about. It's a shock. So, starting with the OCG, we have the next announcement of the next main set. And I'm sad to say, well, actually, I'm not sad to say. I fucking hated it. The year of fire is over. Wait. We move on to the year of water with the next main set, Rage Again, of the Abyss. Even though we have a million years of waters. Really happy that I bought those high rarity Mermail cards now. Mermail. You shut your bitch face. <laughs> you shut up. Uh, this is weird because usually, like, from what I remember, the last two times they've done Fire Pack Water Pack, well, they've done Fire Pack Water Pack, but this time it's Fire Pack Exodia Pack Water Pack. Yes. Well, actually, no, Phantom Nightmare was before. Man, yeah, it's, all, it's all messed up. It's just Phantom fire. Nightmare had fire stuff in it. We had a year of fire stuff. Yeah. Exodia Pack Water Pack. There's now still I'll... fire stuff in the Exodia Pack. True. Then it would have Abyss. Been. You got Poplar as a big lad. The question is, do they do Atlanian cards in here? Or Mermal cards in here? Atl- yeah. Well, Atlanian's uh, always more of the Abyssy sort of thing for me. I think it's going to be Atlanians, if anything, just because you so, get the... Hang on. Back, you can, back you, up. Yeah, you, you back can 100% yeah, dunk on me here. Mermal, Abyss, yep. insert every name. Yep. The fuck? <laughs> yep. But what about Abyss Gund? The Mermal card? Gund. Ah, you don't want summon it. Stoos. Sometimes. Gund. Isn't it the three? Smegalo. You don't want to normal summon Gund. Oh, that's a bad word. Yeah, but you can. But you don't want to. What if you don't draw Diva? Or then... <laughs> Nephthys? Search him. Holy Diva. Sometimes I'm saying, you just want to normal summon the three. <laughs> you don't ever want to normal summon. Sometimes you might have to, I'll concede that. Doesn't but you it, don't is want it to. Is that summons back the four? No, uh, oh, Gund, when it dies, summons, summons from deck. Ah, oh, okay. That's so you it. always want to summon that off the trap. The trap kills it, and then she will summon from the deck. I, for one, want a deep diver retrain. Deep diver? Is that the dog? No, it's a guy in a scuba suit. Misses so, timing. I thought, it's it's, isn't the dog in a scuba suit? <laughs> is it? I think it is. Oh, I just thought it was Or is that dog diver? I know, deep diver is just like... Uh, old, just old timey uh, yeah. person in the water just with a, a pickaxe. <laughs> yes, but there is a dog diver. Mm. I just don't know what it's called. I think it's literally called dog diver. Me oh my god, guys! Kyber Man Secret Rare. <laughs> That's always been the top card on that app. How is that still functioning for you? Because because I'm blessed. He's, he's got the same phone. It doesn't kick you off until you reinstall it, right? I as long as long as an app's on there. I thought they released an update that killed it. Oh. Well, Not for me. He's Yu-Gi-Oh! Price's last fan. Yeah. <laughs> if there's a thousand people in the world... <laughs> You'll be the last person using Yu-Gi-Oh! Prices to read card text. That's okay, that's there. Uh, so anyway, uh, this pack contains... Garbage, you know? it's yeah, cards. yeah, but it's clunkier. It's clunkier. Uh, the pack contains new cards for existing themes as well as brand new themes. Uh, the first run of this pack, uh, that's not for us. Um, this still has quarter century rares. <laughs> Why? And we are long into the financial year of fire. No, financial year of 25 years. Bro, we're into the leap year of fire at this point. Like, this is absurd. But the OCG are copping the same. This is like their fourth year of year of quartzies. Yep. Starlight's dead. Well, I mean, they never had them anyway. When did we start getting quartzies? It was July last year? Yeah, Yeah. because it wasn't meant to be. It was in that. Was it or was it the set before? The it was the legends. legendary yeah. tin uh, thingies. Yeah. Mm. So, okay. still going. So, in the OCG, this know. is for release on the 27th of July. So, in the coming weeks, I'm sure we'll start getting some spoilies. Yeah, it's too bad. We'll see how many mobile cards they get. I wonder if it'll still be in the Diablo Star. Like, if they'll do a water line of Diablo Star stuff. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, like imagine I'll add something to the bikers and that law will continue. What about if they give us Atlantean Mermail, Abyss something? It'd be nice if they actually had like a card that was specifically 
linking them as mm. opposed to like just it's a just lot of synergy. Card I've just made up. At any rate, it'd be nice. What was the one? What was the card that it combined by just calling it the two archetypes? It'll come to me. What but for yeah, the? It's like Drytron. Yeah, that one. Performer power odd eye synchron. Yeah. <laughs> Just all my tokens. They didn't even give it like a little bit on the end to make it like an original thing. They're just like, no, its well, name is the three names. Well, I guess Synchron, Synchron, right? So, like, it's so got to be searchable. Jet Synchron. Yeah, but all the other I performer power Odd Eyes got like, one of them was at least called Corn. But then there was Ooh, performer power Uni. Uni. Yeah. Anyway, um, we also have, actually, yeah. So for Infinite Forbidden, we've got two new pieces of support for oh, the Reikia archetype. Sorry. What? They should have released an, a Performer Power Fusion monster called Performer Power Unicorn. It was very clearly just those two Performer Powers in a shitty unicorn. Like a pantomime horse costume. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that would be so good. <laughs> Why did they never do this? Yeah. And then just have it linked to Fright Fur because... It's things in a costume. No! Those are scary. <laughs> We're only here for fun. Oh yeah. oh yeah. Put Fright Fur in this name. Anyway. Two new pieces of support coming out for the Reiki archetype, which is the new tri-type of yeah, yeah, yeah. reptiles yeah. and bugs and the other one. lizards. What is the other type? Plant! That's it. Uh, so they get a main deck monster, uh, discard it. Not related to No, no, no. I mean, there's what? parallels. You could you could do it. You just wouldn't because Rika, Sun Avalon already has so much going for it. In this deck, I wonder or if it's possible less. to use Lone Fire Blossom and Snake Rain to resolve your full combo. Surely. Surely it's possible. It's the only way, really. Um, but anyway, discard this card, special summon a plant, uh, insect, or reptile from your hand. Uh, if this card is banished from your hand or graveyard, uh, activate the effect. During the end phase of the turn, draw cards equal to the number of different types among insect, plants, and reptiles you control. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. So if it banishes, end phase, potentially draw three. Hmm. I like that. Hmm. It's neat. Yeah. Draw your hand traps. Correct. Uh, and then they also get a new Link 3 reptile. Um, banish up to two monsters What's from your graveyard. Uh, its name is... Uh, Reika okay, no Kurokamitsu. I wanted to know if it was another Reiki card or whether or not it was going to be like an alien or a fucking reptile. No, no, no. It's in archetype. Um, so banish two from your grave, uh, then target the same number of spell and traps your opponent controls, destroy them. If it's in your graveyard, target uh, one of the tri types you control, place it on the bottom of the deck. And if you do special summon it, but you're locked into the tri types for the rest of the turn. I, I don't know. The, the link's not terrible. The issue is that. effects not that bad. You don't really get the, the... You're not going to treat the draw on turn one. That's your problem. Not to use snake Because it has to destroy the opponent's... Uh, one spell or something. No, no, no. Those are two different monsters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was saying how you set up the the draw three. Oh, yeah, but like they're banishing stuff from Graveyard all the time. Yeah, it's yeah. It's super simple. Just wanted to see if they have a way to resolve that on turn one. Oh, there definitely would be. We'll find out when we play it. Yeah. Jake's going to play the deck. I mean, I've got the um, Ogdotix. I was, haven't looked into any Your other pure, pieces of support. My, my aliens and stuff. No, I never ended up getting the CRs. I really should have, though. Fake Ogdotic fan. They're all still in top loaders. <laughs> Did you? No. Did I claim <laughs> to be an Ogdotic fan? I mean, it was not that long after I tried playing the deck that I... I think I proclaimed that they sucked, <laughs> so I don't think I was ever really a fan. I remember you being like, this deck's alright, when you normal summon Alistair. <laughs> it's like, yes. You could normal summon Alistair and then use Invocation and banish the card from Grave. Oh yes, but all what, those what is uh, reptile plants. Is it a light? Huh? Is it light? Earth? Um, I think Earth. I closed the thing, but I'm pretty sure it's Earth. Make a... That big guy? I can make Magalanica, even though he's a rock. Anywho, um, a couple of weeks ago I mentioned that we had the uh, Galaxy Wardrake uh, mm. V-Jump promo having been hinted at. We now know the full effects. It's 
It's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad. It's alright for that. Uh, So Light Dragon... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, So Mm -hmm. level 4, so uh, you can only use its effects once per turn, and you also can't special summon any other cards for the rest of the turn except Light Monsters. Uh, So if a Light level 4 monster or monsters is special summoned to your field, uh, special summon this card from your hand or graveyard, but banish it when it leaves. So you special Um, summon uh, Photon Thrasher, then you special summon it. Yeah, mm. uh, and then you can target one of your other level four light monsters. You control its level, and the one you target its level becomes eight until the end of the turn. And you overland divine knight felgrand. <laughs> maybe not bad. Yeah, maybe. Maybe a maybe galaxy no, eyes yeah, a and game winning combo with a galaxy eyes bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Look, I mean, if it doesn't lock in the light types, oh my god, this card's amazing. But look, yeah, I feel like it'd almost be touch. too good if it locked you in. Oh, it didn't lock you in, rather. Yeah. But like light's still a good archetype to be locked into. It's not dark, but it's not fire. It's an, like it's annoying where they go. Oh, lingering effect versus uh, Promethean Princess one, where it's just while it's on the board. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like I feel like the cards they want to make good gets the gets the princess treatment. Yeah. As opposed to the dragon treatment. I mean, which the, usually they get good treatment. Yeah, but they've moved on from dragons. Yeah. Unless they they're specifically all... fire dragons. Yeah. We still need a water one to come back. Oh, actually, circling back to the water set, imagine if they did the, um, like, retrains of. I've uh, forgotten its fucking name now. The Dragon Rules? No. I hope so. Um, what the fuck is it called? It's a dragon. It gives a lot of dragon rules. While you're saying that, the Link monster was a water monster for the tri type. Oh. It was a water type, yeah. Um, You're in water. Daedalus. If they oh, gave us, like, yes. retrain of Daedalus. Oh, yes. Would you rather them give you the retrain of Daedalus or playable Mermail and Millennium Guns? Both are. Daedalus. You only get one. Daedalus. No. Mermail's poo. Daedalus, great. Even though Daedalus has always been poo. <laughs> <laughs> Daedalus. Big wave, small wave into the unerotted, uh, into the misprint um, near to Daedalus. Beautiful. There's only been one. I've definitely made that point. Daedalus that's ever been even remotely light ray. No, I was thinking Metaphys. <laughs> oh yeah, he very good for the deck. But you gotta get shifted first. Light ray uh, retrains. I'm impressed that you've never played that deck with shifted, Jane. Well, I think in the time frame that I owned it and wanted to play it. Well, I, I say owned it. I still very much have it. Um, the time that I was playing it versus the time that Shifter was available, there wasn't much, if any, overlap. And then the only time I had tried to play it with Shifter was when we started low res duels, and uh, <laughs> D Shifter in the main deck was deemed too strong. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Could think of another low res deck. We're pivoting. We're pivoting hard to fast formats. Yeah, because <laughs> Snake Eyes format sucks. Snake Eyes isn't low res anyway. No, but what I'm saying is, like, when the current format sucks, you look back and start doing, like, Goad and Edison and Draft and... I'm just waiting for... WCQ. Here we go. Might as well. Yeah. Um, anyway, I'm curious as to whether I should cover this, seeing as though uh, this is not product that caters to us here in Australia or Europe. Huh? Are we going to talk about speed rules? Yeah. I was going to talk about speed duels. Yeah, they got a uh, new promo pack. Oh, uh, pack. Por- spoilers. Is it a gun? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, so we've got five ultra speed rares. Speed like guns. Brain Crusher? I don't even know what that is. It's not Brain Crush? No, Brain Crusher. It's not Brain Control? Nope. Yeah, no, that, that name's not ringing a bell. New cards, new releases. Jake's going to go to Unless Ideo Prices a... again and look up Brain Crusher. You don't want to Google oh, yeah. Brain Crusher. Oh, it's an insect. Keep safe, so kids. Uh, once per turn during I the end really phase, if this card destroyed an opponent's monster by battle and sent to the graveyard this turn, while well, you controlled it. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking it's okay. Jesus. It's, it's speed. Uh, target one of those destroyed monsters in the graveyard, special summon that target. Hey! Oh, I was in War of the Giants. Oh, no. It was a, it was a random. Yeah, it was a random promo card from. A, uh, oh, from the one of the games. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, so that makes, it, makes sense why I've never seen it. And now it's a promo again. Uh, Gear Free, the Red Eyes Iron Knight. Thousand Eyes Restrict, Foolish Burial, and Vampire Awakening as the Ultras. God, another expensive Thousand Eyes to buy. <laughs> and then also another Foolish. 
Oh, Jizno is a super. Jizno is a super. Yep, Command Knight also is a super. Oh. Relinquished is a super. Oh. Has Relinquished ever been a super? I don't think it has. Yeah. Okay. It's alright, it's not going to matter for us here in the fucking Australia and Europe and anywhere but America anyway. Uh, and then lastly, we uh, go over to Master Duel as a refreshing change. It's going to be last of the topics. Uh, so currently for a oh, few days, they've got uh, another Extreme Duel tryout going. Uh, this one is uh, just called Nibiru, the Primal Bee. Oh, yes. You told uh, us about this one. Hmm? You told us about this one. Nah. Um, so this one, uh, basically you get your starting hand and then they just give you a Nibiru in addition. Yes. It's very annoying. Because I wanted to play Unchained and the deck dies to Nibiru. So I thought I'd put in Sales Band called Nibiru. It's alright, I got hit with every other hand <laughs> Oh no! Now, well, now you can't use your Nibiru. Correct, yes. Um, but yeah, for winning three of those, you get a pack of the Blazing Arena. Uh, my pools were shit. Uh, next, X Saber. Get a solo mode. Continuing on for the Terminal World Law. Yeah, cool. But it wasn't there when I went to play it the other day. Oh, well, it'll be there now. So is it Xavier's Terminal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were fighting with the worms. Huh. I don't know what they do. I've never really realised. So, spoilers, uh, they're a mercenary group. Yeah. So sense. they were led initially by Knock Goddams, one of the other ones. Uh, Airbell? No, Airbell. I think it was Airbell. Fault Troll? No, it wasn't him. Oh, I, I think it was another extra deck one. Hunley? No. Urbellum? No, it wasn't Urbellum. Wayne? I mean, no, it wasn't Wayne. Okay, well, we're now out of yeah. first run X table cards. Yeah, they had to be Gotham's. The no, Gotham's one... ended up leading them. I just can't remember the name of the other one that was uh, leading them before that. Full Helm Knight? Shouldn't be Full Helm. There's a little one. Emma's Blade? What's. Ah, uh, Emma's Blade. That card was so expensive. Soza. Oh, oh, that guy, the drug addict. Yeah, that yeah. piece of shit card. Yeah. No wonder why it's not the commander anymore. That card sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was initially leading them, um, but he just wasn't a very good person, apparently. Or a very good uh, card. <laughs> uh, the, he went off and did a mission, got lost, left one of his swords, got him, good. picked it up, um, and then started using his sword. And then use it to make an emergency call. What about the second so. call? Uh, but anyway, uh, that's that. But um, yeah, 200 gems on offer, some sleeves, uh, an icon, uh, the same kind of stuff. Um, and then lastly, for some asset stuff, uh, last year on April Fools, they gave us the Baguska background, the Baguska sleeves, yeah. and the Baguska icon. This year, they've given us Baguska as a mate. Yep. Except he's it. terribly tired, not so, drunk. So he's got the pillow and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just sleeps. He's sleepy boy. Yeah. Well, he's a demonic beast, apparently, though. Yeah. Cut that shitty sand game. <laughs> nice. Is that Tosh sand game? Yeah. Now we've got a turbo back. I really need to oh, get into... Foil back sand games just look good. Yeah. Especially when, like, just the card. eyes have the foiling and the rest of the sand game, like, doesn't. I should really use, I should use sand game so more. nice. He's in the eyes and his mouth. I really need to get into getting the last bits and pieces I need for uh, the that format. Deck. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's, what the hell is it? Edison? Yeah, Edison. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I need to get I can't Edison stuff. Oh, shoots. Hmm. Were there any of that? Oh, I reckon I'll put them in the goat box. Oh, no, but I can't. That's the thing. I had goat. Yeah. Edison. I, I had trapped off shoots for goat. No, just can't find I them. I can't find them. That's weird. They're not in any of the areas where they would be. Foil trap dust shit, please, Konami. Yes, put it in Retro Pack 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, moving on to some questions. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us some questions. Uh, first couple of questions this week come to us from 6 r 6 First question is, why do you like to win? <laughs> oh, sorry, I misspoke. What he actually typed was, why do you like to like to win? Uh, well, I don't, so... I, well, our family is just highly competitive, um, so it's always been a case of who can win, and that has followed me into my adult life. Um, unfortunately, before this, I sucked at most things, so I didn't win a lot, which now makes it, like, 
I'm not a particularly good loser, even though I still lose quite a bit. Anyway. <laughs> if you lose quite a bit, it doesn't make you a good loser. Oh, it makes me great at losing. Yeah. I'm just like... Jake is not a good loser. <laughs> I'm not a good sportsman at losing. No. <laughs> Meh. I, I'll lock in and get competitive, but even then, it's not really... It's not for any joy, it's just to feel... Uh, to feel something. <laughs> <laughs> the second you started down that road, I knew that was going to be it. I just cut myself to feel something. <laughs> I like to win because every win gets me closer to us finding Harold Holt. <laughs> we'll have to turn off eventually. How many card games can we have to, do we have to play? Uh, uh, it's the only thing that keeps me going in life. Yeah. Still the funniest. So playing card games will help me find Harold Holt. The funniest the shit abyss. that I learned relatively recently is that not long after his disappearance, they dedicated a swimming pool to him. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He was a strong swimmer. <laughs> he was a great was swimmer. He? Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. The place he was swimming is ab- like, was silly. Like, absolutely silly. Sorry to Harold Holt's family. I think I know where to check. He might be attached to the Thousand Eyes Restrict. I thought you were going to say at the bottom of the pool. <laughs> Water Thousand Eyes. Yeah, give us like a, a Kraken Thousand Eyes. Yeah. That. Please. Anything. Uh, second thousand part of this question. Deep. <laughs> second part of this question is, when you lose, do you prefer it to be after many interactions or getting stopped by a no card? Who wants to get stopped by a no card? Yeah, getting stopped by a no card makes oh, me this worry aspect about of your deck? Hold. No. What, you reckon someone just put skill drain on his legs and then he drowned? Maybe. <laughs> he was pretty skillful before that. <laughs> oh, just side mm. note briefly. Um, first round of locals. Um, at first I had a buy, but then someone arrived late. So I was just watching um, the match next to me. And it happened to be uh, Harry playing Runic Stun. Yes. Versus Chad playing Florunderies uh, as many floodgate cards as possible. Yes. Uh, Harry in game one got evenly three times. Yes. <laughs> Poor ass, Matt. When I was leaving today, I, Harry was trying to explain to the guy that he beat. Uh, Harry was like, oh, you know, sometimes I just want to play stun just to, like, you know, uh, challenge myself. And I was just like, this guy's first locals, <laughs> and he's ended it by playing against stun. Uh, Happens to him. Happens to someone every day, I, I guess. I just thought he was playing, like, Rudic Fell Higher. <laughs> and then he no. said he was on Star I was, I was, like, I was looking at his opening oh, hand, that poor fan, and that I poor saw a Mano Awada. I was like, oh my fucking Christ. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, I don't like to lose to no cards. Um, I don't like the fact that someone can flip one card and be like, oh, um, yeah, your effects, gone. Your graveyard, gone. Fucking, like, you can't summon more than one type of monster. You can't summon more than twice. Like... That shit's bullshit. That's what we played last night. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah, but that's the thing. Everyone's on the same page at that point. Oh. Yes. Soon, we will have effect monsters that are better. I mean, intrinsically, I mustn't like it because I versed Lo- uh, Logan, Ooh, Lachlan a lot over COVID where he was just playing Mystic Mine. I'm like... Man, this is the only. This is we're one of the few people that'll be playing IRL Yu Gi Oh right now, and this is what we're doing. (laughs) (laughs) And just wouldn't build another deck. Nope, he's just sitting on Mystic Mind Dino Mist. And eventually he came around, we're playing Infernoble, whatever. But yeah, there's a few dark months there. Playing Infernoble, whatever. Starts turning zero cards in hand. (laughs) Yeah. I normally summon Pop It. Yeah, what's worse, (laughs) no card or having your whole hand milled? Whole hand milled. I mean, they're effectively the same, as far as I'm concerned. Well, there's a chance to get around to say no card sometimes. Like, you might have the out. You don't have the out when you lose your hand. Here's the problem. Well, you can have them out. It's never just one no card. True. Like, whenever people say that, like, the whatever floodgate it is of the month isn't a problem, they always view it in isolation and think that that's okay. And then they've, like, got a fucking... They've got a solemn there, they've got a fucking barone there to protect, it's like... God isn't that bad. Play around it. 
Anyway, I summoned Fossil Tana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so, yeah, to answer your question, uh, no. Fuck the no cards off. More than happy to lose if, like, there's a back and forth. Even if I just happen to brick and, like, my opponent opens well enough to, yeah, at least to then I'm like, do whatever. RNG. It's like, yeah, exactly. Like, if I'm just, like, got some motherfucker sitting across from me with these fucking whatever colour cards they are, traps, and going, hey, you can't play. Nah. Who's the first Bin. person to play Light and Darkest Dragon in, um, in Edison? With Thunder King Ryo, Doom Cal and stuff. Oh, Christ. I mean, Wonder who surely, be. surely it's Harry. The mission's set. My side deck is all floodgates. So it's like, oh. So far, everyone's been like, oh, do you want a side deck? And I'm like, <laughs> I, I sure. literally <laughs> flip my side deck over, fan it out, and I just get the response. Oh, I won't worry about it then. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, next question is again from 6R6. Uh, are you. you the dishwasher, dishwasher stacker of your household? And what level of rage do you reach when a bowl or cup or cutlery item is placed outside of its unspoken location? We yeah. share dishwashing, stacking, and unpacking kind of privileges here in this house. Yeah. Yeah. What? There is one item that never gets back to where it always is, and I always open up the drawer when I see the dishwasher has been done. I'm like, I will put you back. <laughs> Um, My so, fancy knives. I have fancy knives and I have a knife box. So I take the I'm knife out of the drawer. put those in the dishwasher. I have one that I treat like shit, and the other three I don't touch at all. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, um, I won't go through my entire list of domestic uh, <laughs> bugbears on the podcast. I will say... Bugbears? Ha! Ah. <laughs> no, you're thinking drop bears. No, no, I was just trying to the D&D fans in the audience yeah that's it yeah anyway um so for the dishwasher uh my problems are that uh I seem to be the only one that ever empties it um I know that it needs emptying because uh shit will be left on the counter and or in the sink even though it should have been done oh well, we definitely have periods of that yeah um what else Oh, um, my brother puts uh, knives in downward because he doesn't want to cut himself when he opens the dishwasher, which he doesn't do, so it's literally a non-issue. But then they don't wash properly. I stack knives up to feel something. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just put them in the dishwasher, however they are in my hand when I walk to the dishwasher. See, I want to have them up because I feel like when they're down, the plastic stops them from getting a proper wash. Yeah, I think so I like to have them up. Yeah. And sense. also, if you're a person over the age of seven, you know, knife it's, pointy, it's... don't touch knife. Oh no, I've definitely stabbed myself <laughs> doing this. <laughs> it, it shouldn't, it shouldn't annoy me, but it does. Um, yeah, I, nah, think, we I think those are my only issues with the dishwasher. Oh, and I also, I'm also the only person that buys uh, rinse aid and or uh, like those dishwasher packs to like wash the dishwasher out on occasion oh, that I annoys never, me I never, we've never literally never, you never uh, so keep easy. in mind we had this dishwasher has been i know what, it's, it's a new addition for it you guys been used for three years and then we finally got it fixed hmm. we're like ah yes dishwasher time the one thing i will say with our dishwasher is um it outside of having a small issue which isn't actually the dishwasher's fault but more so the way it's installed it has like the longest pipe to take it to the drain ever and occasionally stuff gets stuck in the length of pipe because mm -hmm. it like curls and whatever mm. outside of that hasn't skipped a beat has not had a single problem it's been very great. surprised we haven't had a problem yeah some something will go wrong yeah almost certainly but at the moment we are all fine and dandy especially considering the repair guy was like Oh yeah, just don't touch any of the settings and just yeah. hit, put the stuff in, hit play. So, simple, easy. Okay, sir, no problem. We will not touch anything else. I'm also not telling the real estate. <laughs> uh, next question comes to us from Raigai. What is the biggest Yu-Gi-Oh monster you could beat in a fight? <laughs> the biggest? <laughs> hmm. Lachlan, Rabbit Horseman. How hard could Master of Oz really beat a fight? Is, is he not huge? massive? Yeah. yeah. Right with the koala nuts. 
Russian gum nuts. Fuck, I'm an idiot. Um, I don't know. Probably Hanawada. Something small. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a tough bird. Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> takes no damage. Ah! <laughs> oh, spore. Can't be marshmallow. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I could take this one. I've never really thought about fighting Yu-Gi-Oh monsters. <laughs> the, f- the five to maybe seven year old girl. <laughs> yeah. I nah. certainly ain't gonna be this nah, one. No, I've always hated Aaron's face. You can, like, let's, I'll scrap with Aaron. Yeah, but I can't kick that high. Yeah, well, just dodge it. Wolf, though, fuck, he would rip me to shreds. Yeah, but then maybe do things with your corpse. Yeah. <laughs> There's a reason there they became two... the Twilight's once. There are Jesus. two wolves inside your deck. You will draw them now. <laughs> uh, look, I just want to fight Mr. Ryan, that's all. From Pokemon. If I ever saw one of them in real life, I'd beat it to death. Uh, this does not extend to actual mimes, but maybe. I could be a rescue cat in a fight. No. <laughs> Maybe trying to help someone, I'm just like, yeah! Mm. Don't worry, help is on the way. <laughs> um, I'm, gonna sure s- up, I'm just like, yeah! Um, I'm going to save this question for another week when maybe we've had more time to think about it because I feel like it's just going to be a not event if we do it now. We should, we should cliffhanger it then. Uh, next question that we'll do for this week is from Arch. Do you think Konami should give up on children? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. I mean, I've given they up did. on children. Do they not? Mm, yeah. I mean, they have in the US market. Oh, like in our market as yeah. well. And in yeah, Europe, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Though in the Western market. Yeah. It's pretty much just like, oh, you can watch this anime. You can't play the card game in the anime, though. Yeah, the, none of the video games really tie in. The two the two phone games are really... Oh, no, if you had a, a kid playing Duel Links, I'd feel worried. I'll be like, hmm. Oh, I got a lot of money to put in Yeah, it could, just, it could just be mm-hmm. a poker machine. Yeah, it's effective what they are. I mean, there's very... Like, we think about it as if, like, those games are the only games doing it, but, like, there's... Very few games that don't have microtransactions in them that most kids would play. Yeah, but Duel Links is egregious. So bad. Yeah. Like trying, I, I can't, I can't build Harpy. Like I just refuse to put any money into it. All the gems and stuff didn't only got like a uh, Harpy's pet dragon. Don't need it. Like, then you got to grind in the like Harpy's. Oh, Harp, Harpy Lady mm-hmm. is a reward from ladder grinding a ladder. Oh, so oh. you can't just go, oh, I'm going to build harpies and then go play on ladder. No. You've got to build something else. And I don't think you get as many tokens if you lose. So you're like, you've got to build something good. good. Yeah, it's uh, it's not good. But, uh, how close are we getting to having 7 Ridge Fusion in that? Because I'll, I'll probably start opening it every now and then to get the 500 free gems every yeah. time pack releases. And then uh, I feel it's still a little while away. They're only just done maximum sum and stuff. Okay. So they've got a couple more things in that avenue yeah yeah I like it for um but to circle back to the question um <laughs> I feel like they like it's been That's talked yes. about for a little while but they could benefit from doing more of a segregation of like age groups and cater more to like the adults and the young adults and then the children like the children's section doesn't really change with like- that segregation I mean, like, Dragon Duel and Regular Duel? Yeah, so making more of a separation like Pokemon does. So you've got, like... Yeah, it should do that. Yeah, but kids can play Pokemon because it's only Pokemon. Yu-Gi-Oh! is like, yeah. this game fucked. <laughs> yeah, but even with that segregation, it doesn't change anything for that age bracket. There's still Dragon Duels, and nothing changes for them. There's still, like, three of them. Hmm. The, the three of them turn up. One of them has a crack deck, the other two like have effectively a structured deck. They all still get an invite because yeah, they're the only ones there. But you just said three yeah. people, so therefore they're not focusing on children. So yeah, we need to, you need like, if they, if they ever wanted, like they must <clears> have given up on children, surely. We're at probably three years until I can start coaching my nephew. And then probably about another three years and then we'll be ready for Dragon Duel. Dragon, Dragon. It's gonna be like eight. You're gonna take them to any WCQ and be like, here we go. Get your price point. Get me another Nintendo Switch. 
Um, second last question from Zinthonian. Uh, it's that time of year again. What are everyone's thoughts on the new Australian entry for Eurovision? Um, I oh, read this question like three days ago and forgot to look up what our entry was in order to answer the question. <laughs> uh, we'll definitely get back to that. I do like I'll, I'll follow Eurovision. Yeah, I had a, I had we'll a feel. That's why I asked the question because I had a feeling you might know, but apparently you haven't looked at it either. No. Um, so then... I'll message a friend. I'm all WrestleMania at the moment. Like, that's all I've thought about. So then for the last question is from Frozen Actoline. Um, and it's just regarding the uh, Nibiru uh, type thing that they just released for Extreme Duels. The Dead um, Master? Extreme Duels? Mm-hmm. They'll no, get the kids back in. The, yeah. No, the, the tryout thing I said where they just give you Nibiru to start. Yeah, Extreme Duels. Oh, so they knew what you're gonna, they knew you were going to talk about it this week? Well, he asked it about two seconds ago. Anyway, uh, his question is, or their question is, uh, are there any similar formats you would like to try? Uh, what, would, what would be funny to always have in your hand? Time Wizard. You're always <laughs> playing in for a dinky. Guys, we're playing Time Wizard format. Oh, Edison, goat? No! <laughs> Time Wizard's there. You flip the coin to try and wipe it. Yeah, and just it's just a deck mark. Like, it's not even, you don't have to summon it. You can just any time choose to flip a coin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just, no, don't even... Hear me out. Don't even have a choice of time. When the phases change, the coin flips. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Do it, you cowards. I have seen people do duels where it's, like, entirely either toin cost... No, toin cost. Toin cost. Coin cost. Or... Oh, my fucking He did cost. it again. Coin cost. Oh, I need to die. Coin toss or dice roll... And that looks fun. I would do that. Uh, or everything is older else? and more powerful. <laughs> My magician didn't die, he just became a sage. No, that, that card never worked in the old unions, by the way. Like, didn't summoning it? Dark Sage. Like, I swear, in like World Championship 2003, it's bugged. Same with Red Eyes, Black Metal Dragon. I'm oh, yeah. Sure both also, of them were bugged. So I just... think we've definitely talked about this before, where yeah. also you just don't summon Black Metal Dragon because it's like Red Eyes with Metal Morph is just better. Yeah. Oh, God, that card's so good. <laughs> it's in MRD. Oh. Is, it, oh. is Metal Morph common? Nah, it's super. super. <sighs> oh, no. <laughs> Someone's going to pull. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's going to be Lachlan, isn't it? I mean, you'd hope so. Red Ice. Yeah. Yeah. Thematic, innit? Um, Do we have results for the poll? Yes. Uh, The majority of people opted for May for the ban list release. 67% versus April and 33. No votes for June or Christmas. (laughs) Christmas. Jesus Christ, no again. So yeah, we're not feeling an April ban list, which... I I agree, it's May ban list. Yeah, but it also feels like we are riding off a few YCSs just sitting here going, well, we know it's going to win. Speaking of which, when is the next YCS? What? Is there a random one this weekend? No, I don't know. No, Leah would have told us by now. True. Wonder what... Um, yeah. Maybe there isn't, that's why they're just holding it off. Maybe. <sighs> if only there was a schedule we could look up. What yeah, should we do? If only it was publicly available. Yeah. Um... Oh, what water deck do we want to see get support in yeah. Rage of the Abyss? Uh, well, the oh, two so that we said. Harold Holt drink. We can have a Harold Holt deck. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> Will Harold Holt get water support? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like his water support is coming way too late. <laughs> For himself, no, he, yeah, it's like, yeah. <laughs> he already got it. Tommy. Hey. Come Back- that concludes us for this week thank you all very much for listening and watching uh if you are watching along feel free to like and subscribe if you're listening uh feel free to favorite jump into our discord ask us some questions vote in our poll and we'll catch you all next week peace Hi. <laughs>